Hey, everybody. Hello, hello. It's Monday night, uh, and we're back live. And oh my goodness, I hope that you all had a fabulous Thanksgiving. Hope you enjoyed friends and family, because that's what it's all about. But a show of hands, how many of you are just done with eating? I'm done. Yeah, I'm done with eating. How lucky are we that we belong to a community where once a month we shred? And I'm reading a book right now. Oh my goodness, some of you would be, it's not for the faint of heart, but it's about how all disease is in the gut and in the colon. And I'm gonna tell you right now, we are on track, always have been with our Juice Plus and our shred message. So if that's not what tonight is about, uh, tonight is about uh, the Mortgage Board of Information, but tonight is developing professional pride uh, as we go into December, but also into 2023. It's about opportunity and there's lots of teaching moments. And of course, yes, I've got my famous popcorn bowl right here. 40 of you, 40 of you put in uh, complete orders. I gotta tell you, Three quarters of you, I don't even know who you are. So that makes me very happy, okay? That makes me very happy. All right, so let's get this party started because there's a lot. I may go over 30 minutes tonight. If you can stay with me, that's great. If you can't, I completely understand. All right, so this is about first and foremost, uh, building what I'm gonna call a ton of momentum during the holiday season and an opportunity for you to do that and still enjoy the holidays at the same time. How does that sound? I bet you that sounds good because so many of us are moms going, I can't do one more thing, okay? Um, and I believe that we can do that and we can be very present and grow and enjoy family at the same time. So before that, uh, I think what's most important is that we take on a new goal for December in 2023. And that is about having not just a passion about Juice Plus, because I bet you every single one of us here has a passion about Juice Plus, but it's about developing professional pride. And I think that is a great goal, a great goal. And so here's the mama bear in me, okay? I'm gonna lecture just a little bit, okay? Y'all need to stand stronger in your belief about who we are and what we represent and the company that we represent, okay? And I got a strong message this week when Catherine Lee sent out a Voxer message saying that she had posted, uh, you know, about our um, Black Friday opportunity and that what it yielded for her was uh, a new customer, uh, someone who has been on her dream team forever. And did this customer order the perform? No, this customer went to her link and ordered, I forgot it was either the quad or the duo, but it's somebody that Catherine has wanted on her dream team and on product for a long time. And what that showed to me was professional pride. You know, I, I love that the company is stepping up and did the Black Friday incentive. Was, was I crazy about it? No. But what I learned from Catherine's message was that when we show up and we're proud about what we represent, people pay attention. So what did I do? I went to her website. I looked at what she posted and there was other people posting similar things. And I said, you know what? If it's good for Catherine Lee, it's good for me. I need to stand up and I need to show up and I need to express stronger professional pride too, if I expect you to do it. So I went in with pure terrorism and I said, you know, I ate it all. I ate the turkey, the mashed potatoes, the stuffing, the pie. And then I had a second helping at 9 p.m. And <laughs> my message. And now my body is screaming at me, stop the insanity, Terry. Blah, 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 Black Friday. Posted my link, just the way Catherine did. Two hours later, there's my niece from New Hampshire, who's been on my dream team for 15 years. She's married to my nephew, the coolest guy on the planet. She says, thank you so much for posting this link. I just ordered. I said, oh my gosh, what did she order? Well, she ordered the duo. And today we got her son, Julian, on the children's health study. 
same exact scenario because I showed up. Okay, guys, the whole thing about posting about Black Friday, it's not so much that you're going to get perform orders. It's about engagement. It's about engagement. It opens the door to more conversations. All right. So there is an example of me showing up and exhibiting more professional pride. And uh, the payoff, the payoff has been awesome. All right, how many of you are gonna be going to holiday parties this season? COVID is over. I've been invited to three, right? Okay, so I took the liberty of writing down some conversational things that I think that could help us during the holidays. And I'm convinced that, yeah, you know, we need to learn more about social media and we have to learn about posting. And we have to learn about this and we have to learn about that. But guys, I really think we have to spend a lot of time in the art of the conversation. Okay, in the art of the conversation. So um, when you're out and about during the holiday season, it's not about you trying to convince somebody that they need Juice Plus. It's about you getting really good at finding out what is it that they need, want, or desire. And what are the two things that people talk about most? 90% of all conversations are about how people feel or their financial challenges. Those are the two things. So I went about and I created some, um, just some talking points that I would love for all of us to get better at. So you're at a party and somebody says, you know, we've been struggling. There's this, that, or the other thing going on in my home. Well, are you gonna jump right in? Have you heard of Juice Plus? No, all right, because I'm gonna tell you they're gonna walk away. They're gonna go get more eggnog. They're gonna leave you standing there with your mouth open. All right, so how about, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Uh, it sounds like you've really struggled with this. Donald Miller Playbook. Here's, here's something that I came up with today. Now, how long have you struggled with this? How has that impacted your life? Wow, tell me more about that. Here's another one. What have you tried? What have you tried? How much has that helped? I sense you've really struggled with this. And now, because she's talking, he's talking. Now, I may have a solution for you. Have you ever considered a nutritional approach to help you deal with your X, Y, or Z? Guys, these are the kinds of statements and questions that are going to get people to open up. People are people want to be heard. Each and every one of you want to be heard. I want to be heard. We don't want to be preached to. We want to be heard. We want to be validated. Okay. I'm going to post these comments and these questions on the Team Up Facebook page so you can go in and grab them. All right, and if someone says, you know, I'd be interested in learning more, up front with them. You know, is now, you know, could we talk this week or would you rather wait until after the holidays? You know, are, are you, do you have the time before the holidays to watch a quick video? Or would you rather wait until after the holidays? When may I, when can I visit with you? If I were to send you this, you know, would you have the time to watch it? Okay, so I always ask going into the holidays now or after, all right? So um, the other thing as we're going into the holidays is now is an opportunity to get your name, name out there with everybody that you know. Uh, it's time to contact your preferred customers. All right, it's time to contact your preferred customers. You know, a quick text. Listen, believe me, how many of you have been bought, bought, bombarded by emails and text messages in the past five days? I mean, my phone wants to go to sleep. It's exhausted. All right. So there's nothing wrong with us going to our preferred customers and saying, hey, here's just a thought. You know, you know that Juice Plus is improving your health. Have you ever thought of the gift of health for someone that you know and love? It's just, it's, it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity for engagement. It's an opportunity 
to open the conversation for more. We both know that it's helping you. Have you ever thought of the gift of health of Juice Plus for someone that you know and love? Here's the other thing, and this is Catherine Lee. I learned this one from Catherine Lee 20 years ago. And Catherine Lee says, I would love to be a solution for people that you love who are having health challenges. Wow. And here's another thing that Catherine says, if you hear of anyone who's looking to improve their health in the coming year, please keep me in mind. People will respect these direct conversations. And again, I'm gonna put this up on the team of Facebook page so that you'll have it. All right, speaking of getting your name out there and honoring our preferred customers, you know, every year I like to send a gift uh, to my preferred customers as a thank you. I always try to keep everything around two or three dollars. Postage is always an issue. So this year, and Kathy Schlund has been so instrumental in helping me find this. And hey guys, if you see Kathy Schlund at a conference or anywhere, would you just say thank you? This girl shows up every single week to support your business. You have no idea what she has to jump through, the things that I send her to be prepared for a Monday night call. Most of you would walk away and say, forget it, Terry. So, you know, a heart of gratitude for Kathy. Thank All you, right. everyone. Thank you, Terry. All right. So Kathy helped me to find this year jar openers, okay? And we're going to have the Juice Plus logo, logo imprinted on them. Kathy, do you want to show us what that logo is? We're thinking of using this one. Now, granted, there's a smudge on here. Don't worry, it's going to get all cleaned up. But we're going to do this and we'll make it a circle and just have it look that it'll be the circular um, jar opener, five inch. Okay. Uh, guys, and we can get this for under $2. And uh, some of the NFDs have already placed their orders, but I'm going to open this up to all of you. If you would like to gift your preferred customers this Juice Plus jar opener, just get to me by Thursday. All right, by Thursday with how many that you want. And uh, uh, we believe that, you know, for $2 or maybe a little less, we'll be able to get these to you plus have that include shipping and handling. So we'll see. So it's gonna be right around $2. Uh, my preferred customers always love the gifts that I send them because sometimes they'll get back to me during the year and say, hey, do you have any more of that blah, blah, blah that you sent me at Christmas? So they pay attention and they love it and it works. Again, keeping your name out in front because we shared last week or the week before about some of the things that the company is going to be doing this year in terms of uh, media and advertising. And you want all, yeah, Holly Morris, you want all of your preferred customers to know and remember you and think of you and people out there in the wide world of social media to know that you're a part of this too. So let me know if you want any of these jar openers Okay, because I'm excited about that. Okay, our next campaign, all right, that um, is going to be starting in December is all around the Healthy Starts for Family, uh, the gift of health for the family. And just like the smoothie uh, campaign that we're in right now that's going on, you know, this week with all of the great images and supporting our customers with great recipes, uh, there is... You know, the cash raffle, there will be a cash raffle for representatives who put in orders for the Healthy Starts for Families program. Um, and we're going to start, I'm going to start counting them starting December 1st. Okay, starting December 1st, I'm going to start tallying these orders. And you need to know that Thursday night, uh, December 1st, there is a Healthy Starts for Families. There you go, right here. Thank you, Kathy. There's a Healthy Starts for Families Zoom call. 
take a look at who's going to be speaking on this call. Dr. Paul OBGYN, Dr. Valerie Miles, pediatrician, Dr. Bill Sears, pediatrician, and Dr. Doug Odom, OBGYN, and Dr. Uh, John Saran, internal medicine, is going to be hosting the call. This alone, you could start posting this on social media, all right? Uh, the, uh, the, the Zoom ID is there. The password is not. Uh, if someone is interested, you can send them the password. The password, is, <laughs> Tasha said, sign me up for the call. Okay, well, you got it. Tasha, we got you covered. Uh, when somebody asks uh, for the ID, it's going to be welcome with a capital W. So when I saw this last week, I said, how appropriate and how timely that this call starts December 1st and our campaign for the Healthy Starts for Families also starts January, uh, December 1st. So plug into that. I'll make sure we're gonna post um, the image. I'll get it off to you in uh, Voxer, uh, all of the Voxer chat so that everybody has that image, okay? All right, who, are you ready for me to give away some money? I am. Now, you need to know, I don't know half of the people whose names, I mean, there's like 40 odd representatives in here. So if, if there's a name that I don't know and I call it out, but they're on your team, you know, please uh, unmute yourself. Let us know who that person is. How's that sound? Okay, so we're gonna start with $50. Okay, because I'm gonna raffle away $300 tonight, the $50 winner. Oh, we know her, Jen Grubb. <laughs> All right, I got to write this down. So Jen Grubb, congratulations, gets a $50 something. I'll Venmo you the money. How does that sound, guys? I think Venmo is the best way to go. All right, oh gosh, the winner of $100. What a great way to start December is, Jan Nichols. Well, we're all clapping for you, Jan Nichols. Whoever you are, I will find out. You know what the cool thing is? The cool thing is if this is a brand new rep, imagine you have a brand new rep who gets a check from me for $100, probably in a campaign she didn't even know anything about, do you think that person is not gonna be excited about who and what we are as a community? Oh yeah, so if anybody wants to, I'm gonna go back in tonight and see exactly who is Dan Nichols. All right, and $150 goes to, drum roll, da -da 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 -da. <gasps> Nancy Hill is on fire. Jerry Norris. Anybody? Yes, Jerry, everybody's clapping for you. I tell you, I was going in, I was looking at, I actually went in to make sure they were all on my team. I was like, I know this person. I got to make sure they're on my team. So they are. So that's so much fun. Oh my gosh. All right. So I love that we're doing this. We're going to do an instant replay of this with the Healthy Starts for Families program that will go from the first, I think through the 15th, it might be the 14th, but it will be something like that. Okay. Ah, I think what we're going to do right now is I was so inspired by this next speaker who could have closed out our national conference that uh, brand new NMD, you want to talk about someone with professional pride, Viola Simon. And so I want to run this tonight because I really want to hear your take on her Juice Plus experience. Kathy, would you run Viola, please? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome National Marketing Director, Viola Simon. I'm tired of doing the same thing. I'm tired of doing the same thing. He likes my territory. Woo! He likes my territory. Woo! Woo! Hello, 
Disperse family! Hello, Team Africans on the rise! Woo! Oh my God! Wow! Oh my God! What an honor to be here on stage. This is a dream come true. Two years ago, I dream of standing on this stage, sharing my story, rewriting my story, and here I am today. I just want to thank God for this opportunity to even be here. I want to thank my team, Team Florence, for making this happen. Without you guys, we wouldn't be flourishing. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm just a little girl from the streets of Koboko selling juice, helping my mother selling juice to promoting healthy living on social media. What a blessing. So my name is Viola Simon, first African Canadian National Marketing Director. I am original from South Sudan. I grew up in Uganda. I lost my dad when I was only two years old. I was raised by my hardworking mother who made me to be who I am today. I remember days when we ate cassava for three months because she didn't have money, so we ate cassava for three months. And I'm just grateful to have the chance to come to Canada 14 years ago. Special thanks to my uncle, his lovely wife, and the church for bringing us to this land of many opportunities like Juice Plus. I wouldn't be here on stage today if it's not for my uncle and the church. I am a proud, independent mother of three amazing children who push me to be a better person each day. They are my wise, why I want more in life. I came across Juice Plus on Facebook stories through my sponsor, Violet, who introduced me to the business and the products. As an independent mother, I was always busy working running from job to job, looking for extra income for my family, had no time for my kids. On November 7, 2019, I came back from work after picking up my kids from their babysitter. My daughter cried and I asked why she was crying. She told me she missed me. It hit me hard because I didn't see them for a few days as I had a back-to-back -back schedule. It broke my heart as a mother. We both sat down, we cried, and I put them down. She was only two at the time, and I put them down with her brothers, and I told them, Mommy is going to sign up for Juice Plus so that I can work from home and have time for them. And that was my wake-up call. So I picked up my phone and I called my sponsor. I told her I am ready to sign up. I didn't ask her how much she was making because a lot of us are here wanting to know how much are people making before you can make a decision. I want to stand here to let you know that you don't need to wait until how much somebody is making in order for you to just jump on board. I didn't know where this trend ride was taking me, but I just said yes and see where it would take me. Mind you, I was broke. I didn't even have the $52 to sign up for this business. I got a call the next day from the office. Oh, you know, I'm calling, your card is declined. And I'm like, the first thing I asked the lady, can I still promote my business? And she's like, yeah, but your name is not on the system. I said, that's okay. I went hard on Facebook every day. I remember I would come home from work at two in the morning and I would sit there promoting Juice Plus business. I remember my first Facebook Live, I didn't have the product on my hand because I couldn't afford it. I just held on this booklet that I got from the office and I was just reading, telling people the benefits of the product through a book because I didn't have the money to buy the product. Why did I do that? Because I was hungry. I wanted this to work. I wanted this to change my life. 
I started going crazy, telling my sisters, anybody that I knew, I was just going crazy. You guys need to try this product. They're amazing. And my family supported me. They became my customers. Until today, they are my loyal customers. And because of that, I am grateful. And then I started, you know, I said, well, this is working for me. So I was able to afford it. I paid all my $52, bought my own product. I started taking it with my kids. After seeing how amazing the product were, I decided that I'm gonna focus on my community. I'm gonna go after the South Sudanese community, anybody that I know, and tell them we need to take care of our health. Do you wanna look good and feel good? You need to take this product. And that is when my community began to believe in me, and I started to have a team members. I have amazing team members that believed in me, I believed in them, and because of this woman here, Constant O'Hannessy. She flew all the way from UK just to support us. All the way from UK. She encouraged me. I remember when I was at Partner Plus, she encouraged me. She told me, Viola, you can do it. Go out there. Go look for your tribe. Go look for your people. Go tell them about this product. You could be the first NMD in, in Canada. You could be the first South Sudanese. We were not even thinking about the first African. We were just thinking about the first South Sudanese. I believed in this woman. She believed in me. She picked me up and she mentored me. And I'm so grateful. To all my team members out there, thank you guys. Because of you guys, we made it to NMD in 14 months. We made it to NMD in 14 months. Because of this business, my team and I were able to give a colorful Christmas to the last fortune children in one of the refugee camps in Uganda because of this business. This business has completely changed my life. And I want to encourage anybody here today that you can rewrite your story. You could be that next viola standing on this stage. I came from nobody. I'm a single mother struggling, just looking for something to help my kids. I do not want my kids to go through what I've gone. I don't want my kids to struggle. I want to be a chain breaker. And I see a chain breaker in this room. I see a chain breaker. I don't know what your story is, but I know that you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Believe in yourself. Be consistent. When you join this business, don't sleep. Don't doubt yourself. Come out of your comfort zone. Go out there. Talk to people. I used to take my shake to work and make, bl and make shake at work. Give to my co-workers. I did 10 hours six days a week I will still come home do my business before I go to work first thing I do in the morning go on Facebook good morning guys this is Viola again I'm here to make my shake and you know anybody out there want to try it and then I do my two minutes video I'm out I'm gone so if you're in this business if you're sleeping time to wake up time to wake up and take your business to next level team Africa let's do it Together we can do it guys. Believe in yourself. Thank you. Wow. How did that land with you? <laughs> um, she takes my breath away. Uh, even before she was on Juice Plus or even had the $52. You talk about professional pride, right? And she was hungry. She was hungry. And I know that there are thousands of women out there right now that are in the same situation. And that's why us showing up bold and strong, starting now, that's how they're gonna find us. That's how they're gonna find you. That's how you're gonna find them. As Viola said, it's time for all of us to wake up. So, that landed with me in such a way. Anybody have any comments about uh, Viola? I think it was better than it was at conference. I mean, just hearing it again, you know, her message. Yeah. She could have closed it. We could have walked away right there. Yeah. Yeah. And all the NMD speeches were amazing. Yeah, Holly, I loved her energy and her message, that passion. So, um, 
us showing up right now is so important. So people know who we are and what we're all about. And that shows up with professional pride. Okay, guys, it's eight o'clock. <clears throat> Here's the deal. I was going to post this morning. Hey, it's the 27th. Oh, it's the 28th. It's time to go looking for those D's. And it dawned on me. I post that. I've been posting that for months, for decades. How many of you even really know what that means? If I were to say to you, if I were to say to you, print or go view your preferred customer genealogy and go to the status column, okay, and this is what you're looking for, I'll bet most people don't know how to do that. So hang in there with me, Kathy, pull up a preferred customer genealogy. I don't know if you pulled up mine or yours or what. It's mine. But, okay, it's Kathy's. All right, so here's the deal, guys. It is time to look for D's. And what does that mean? Is that you've got customers right now who probably are using a new credit card. And um, bye, Holly. They're probably using a new credit card and they never thought to tell you or to log on to their portal to change their credit card. And what that means is that number one, if we don't get that taken care of, they will go to collections and it's an in-house collection agency, but before they can get any new product, they have to take care of this credit card issue. And most of them, what will happen if we don't get in touch with them is that they'll go from a D, which is a decline, which says credit card is not processing, to a C, which means they are a canceled customer. So you need to be looking at this preferred customer genealogy always towards the end of the month. So how do we find out if your customers are an A, B, C, or D? Kathy just circled the ARO status column. All right, so there's Kathy's name, her address, her phone number. All right, what you want to do is you go down this column is you wanna see A's. A's mean that they're active and they're on track and that their orders will process with no problem, all right? A's, if you can get, Kathy probably doesn't have any D's because she looks at this on a regular basis, but some of these, if you see the letter D, that's what tells you that this customer is in credit card decline. And how do you get this list, Alicia? Well, guess what, guys? The company sends this to you once a month. Check your emails, all right? The company sends you your preferred customer genealogy once a month. And if you, okay, go ahead, pull up the, the classic, Kathy. And here's how you can have it sent to you tonight. Under team data, former reports, Go down to preferred customer genealogy, submit. Okay, so that's on the old classic and I love to pull up my old reports there because it's so easy. So team data, former reports, preferred customer genealogy and it'll speak, it'll go right to your, right to your email. It is that simple. And I know that um, I see so many declines uh, on a monthly basis across the whole organization. I really feel that very few of us as partners know how to do this exercise. I'm gonna tell you, it's the way to plug the drain in your business. It's the way to plug the drain so you don't lose customers. Now, if you have a small team or say you're not a national marketing director yet, working your way, it's a good idea to go through. You could, that, that genealogy is gonna be you, your customers and your team's customers. So then you can turn around and tell a partner, hey, your customer, Terry Luongo, I see a D on the preferred customer report. That means her credit card is not processing. You're going to want to give her a call. And the message or the text message is, hey, 
Hey, Terry. Okay, this is Kathy. Uh, I'll bet you're using a new credit card because your last payment for Juice Plus did not process. We can take care of this so easily. You can give me the information or, Kathy, can you pull up somebody's portal and tell can us how they mine? get there? Can you see mine? Yes. Okay. Start with, um, I'm in under my partner portal. Okay. And the reason I did this is because I always log in as my partner. When I have to change my credit card information, I go to my, the, my portal and I move to, okay. So I'm actually on, um, on as a customer. I can see, notice that I can either be on my partner page as a partner, or I can move to my personal orders. Okay, so I'm moving to my personal orders. I'm not going to my customers to take care of my own. Okay, so when it shows my active orders, and this is what it will look like on their own personal portal. And stop me if anybody gets confused. So they've gone in and they're on their own personal orders. They went to my they went to myjuiceplus.com and they went in and they logged in as as their own as a customer. Okay? So here's here's an order. I click on the the little um orange arrow and it takes me to this one particular order that I have in the system. Okay? Now, see that this is my order order options edit payment information so that's where it can be changed now if i have a customer that i'm going to do it for them i go to back to my partner page and i go to my customers And I'll just pick a customer here. Okay, so I know that she's got an order. So I went, I'd go click on the orange arrow there. I then, next payment total is there. I get go to that little orange arrow. Order options, edit payment information. Now, if they're already in decline, and you can edit this for them, but you have to call the company and tell them to run the credit card because they're not going to automatically go in and rerun that batch because they try it every day for three days. And if it doesn't go through, they will finally, um, that's when uh, frequently I have gotten, they're sending um, us as partners, They'll send us an email saying someone's credit card has been declined. So if you don't look at your email very often, it's really smart to do that, to be getting notifications from the, um, uh, from the company. And they'll let you know about different customer orders. Um, so it's really smart to just check your um, emails to see if you've gotten something from the company um, because that's how they're letting the partner know that someone's card is declined and you can prompt them that way. So Kathy, I also know that the company sends is sending out emails now to the customer. Correct. That says your credit card is in decline. Now, what I don't know, and maybe one of you do, does know, if, is there's a link in that email so that they can go in quickly and adjust their credit card information. That I don't know. I don't know what that email looks like. I just don't even, um, I just always make sure that they um, are aware. I've had two customers. It's very rare that my customers go into D, but I can always assume that either, that somebody's card got um, changed. Um, well, it got changed because usually somebody's, something was, they ended up having to cancel that card because something got screwed up. Right. Yeah. yeah. So Nancy, did you have a question? 
Well, I was just, I just got one of those messages because my card was hacked. And so it's, you know, an email has my address and everything. And then it says, update my payment information. So there's a black link, black little bar. So I didn't even know that until she- Hey, Nancy, click that bar. And where does it, what does it take you to? Takes me to the customer login page. You probably can't see that. But. There you go. Customer login. All right. See? And I will say when it comes to cost customer login for each of us who are um, partners, it's not the same information for logging in. Um, you have to put your email address in with a login with a, your own password. So I just go in as through my partners and then yeah. just move to my personal orders. Okay. So I love that the company is sending um, the email, letting our customers know, but it's still a great idea to run that preferred customer genealogy. This way you're on top of it. You are on top of it. And it's a great way to plug the drain. Uh, I love I love how sophisticated this is getting. Anything that can help the customer keep it simple. That is awesome. All right, Kathy, thank you for that. Anybody have any questions about pulling up their preferred customer genealogy? I just Alicia, did we question. answer your questions? So when we get the email that Jane's card was declined, has it already been charged three times? You mean run three times? Run yes. three times. Yes. Okay. Is it there has any, been... I just wanted to ask Terry if there's anyone who does not know how to go from the myjuiceplus.com. When you're on myjuiceplus.com, you I, I don't know if you can run a preferred customer genealogy from here, but I do know how to do it. But you can go all the way to the bottom and get back to the classic just by clicking that and you're already in if it will show up now. Gotcha. Okay. Just so a that, lot of the new people, you know, and we don't really, you know, we, go. we don't really want them using the classic. We want them on the juiceplus.com, but this preferred customer genealogy is so valuable that I wanted to show you guys how to get it and how to use it and um, run it. I run it every month always checking for those Ds, staying ahead of the conversation. All right, guys, anybody have any questions before we say good night? All right, what we're gonna do next week is we're going to continue our conversation about uh, pride during the holidays and some more ideas about what we can do to uh, create engagement. So that'll be great fun. Um, and uh, Thursday night, the first, uh, that great uh, Zoom with all those doctors. Uh, that's going to be so amazing. All I right, guys. I just you know that I put that image of the um, the event on Thursday night. It's in the chat. All you do is just click on it and it's going to show up and you've got it. Okay. Yeah, because that's going to be, a, that's a great thing to promote for. And oh, do let me know if you want any jar openers for your customers, okay? And we'll take care of that. I need the orders by Thursday. All right, guys. Um, I'm so grateful for each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you for saying yes to Juice Plus and being a part of this mission that we're on. Peace and blessings. Good night, everybody. Thanks, ladies. Good night. Good night. Sweet.